How can it be made clear that personal beliefs and public opinions are not the factors that decide the validity of scientific discoveries? Excellent question. Scientists are human like everybody else. We are trained to minimize the role of our bias in our experiments and in our interpretations. But sometimes that's hard, if not impossible, to do. So while you can have a, a scientist that falls victim to his or her own biases, sure, and there's many examples of that in the past, but the enterprise of science has built-in error-checking mechanisms. You know what that is? There's somebody else who's checking you, who has a different set of biases or no bias at all. If they get the same result as you, that adds confidence that maybe your result is right in spite of your bias. If they get a different result, either you're wrong, or you're wrong, or both of them are wrong. See, that's what's interesting about science. If you're both saying two different things, you both cannot be right. And the enterprise of science sorts that out, eventually over time, and biases are revealed. And if it is later shown that your bias interfered with your results, your next study will be significantly discounted in people's trust, okay? It would interfere with your career as a scientist. And that's, this is the value of science as an enterprise, because we know we are, as humans, we are susceptible to bias of all kinds.